Overseas service is very, very important for our personnel in the Defence Forces. We carry out a wide range of duties at home, uh, but when we serve overseas, it gives us the opportunity to put into practice many different aspects of our training, as well as the opportunity to benchmark ourselves against other nationalities. It provides us an opportunity to develop our capabilities and our interoperability uh, with different uh, nationalities. We carry out these duties on behalf of the people of Ireland. We are the physical manifestation of Irish foreign policy. It also provides us with the opportunity to assist uh, in many of the most uh, difficult areas of the world where we have uh, people who are suffering great distress. It offers us the opportunity uh, to help them, to provide a safe and secure environment for them. We bring a lot uh, to the table in terms of peacekeeping. Uh, firstly, we have 53 years of peacekeeping everywhere from the Congo to Chad, from Lebanon to Liberia to the Balkans, uh, literally all over the world. We are perceived as being the honest broker. We have no colonial baggage, we have no particular agenda, and anywhere we've served, people are very, very conscious of that. We have, as I said, a long experience, but we also have a particular attitude towards peacekeeping. We respect the local culture, we respect the local people, we can integrate with them uh, very, very well. There is a certain amount of danger uh, where we are deploying in our area of operations. Otherwise, our skills and capabilities wouldn't be required there. However, from our pers perspective, force protection is paramount. We have some 36 armoured vehicles, uh, including armoured personnel carriers, close reconnaissance vehicles and light tactical armoured vehicles. We are equipped with the latest anti-armour weapons, if they are required, and fire support. Uh, we also have uh, tremendous surveillance uh, equipment. I am confident that uh, whatever challenge we come across, we have the equipment, we have the training, and I think above all, the personnel and the leadership uh, to be able to deal with anything that may arise. Our area of operations extends from Tibnin south to the Blue Line. It also includes a major uh, population centre, Binchabile. Uh, it's an area of about 140 square kilometres. Uh, it measures roughly uh, 17 kilometres deep by 8 kilometres wide. I'm, I'm quite confident uh, that our familiarity previously will assist us greatly because we're very, very familiar with many of the areas there which we have patrolled extensively over the years. I'm very happy with the preparations and the training that the 104th Infantry Battalion uh, have undertaken. Uh, their training, which lasted approximately five months, culminated in a mission readiness exercise uh, which highlighted a number of possible scenarios that they might encounter during their tour of duty uh, in South Lebanon. Uh, the training focused on uh, weapons uh, training, communication training, uh, medical training, patrolling techniques, among many other uh, areas. The military service, uh, from the perspective of the soldier, is very demanding, both at home uh, and indeed overseas. Uh, it is also very demanding on the families. Uh, the families have to uh, do the routine work at home, uh, whether it's uh, schooling, school runs, uh, running a household, shopping, all the other, dealing with the little crises that crop up from time to time. And from our perspective, uh, it would not be possible for us to serve overseas or indeed at home, where we spend extensive times away from home, without the support that we get from our, our families. We have fantastic personnel in the Defence Forces, and uh, I would like to take this opportunity to express my appreciation to them for the wonderful work that they have put in at home, and, and I'm sure that they will uh, continue to do so uh, overseas. Um, we are carrying out very important work, uh, in a difficult area of operations on behalf of the people of Ireland uh, and I have every confidence that the training and preparation that the 104th Infantry Battalion have undergone will equip them well to carry out their tasks uh, to the highest standards.